Hi, I'm Paul Torgerson. It's Tuesday, September 17th, 2019, and this is a look at the information security news from overnight. From ZDNet, after going dark for four months, Emotet is back. The dangerous malware's command and control servers were offline, and no phishing emails had been sent since May. That all changed yesterday when everything came back to life. The initial round of spam emails seems to be targeting Polish and German-speaking targets. From Bleeping Computer, a new spam campaign is underway that pretends to be a job application from Eva Richter, who is sending her photo and resume. This resume, however, installs the Ordinipt wiper. This nasty pretends to be ransomware, but actually wipes your files. So even if you pay, you get nothing back. Get your back up on, kids. From ZDNet, the details of Lumen PDF's entire database of 24.3 million users has been shared on a hacking forum. The hacker said they leaked the company's data after Lumen PDF administrators failed to answer his queries multiple times over the past few months. In a twist, That database was later hit with ransomware and the data destroyed. Good thing the hacker made a backup? From ThreatPost, more than 100 vulnerabilities have been found in small office and home office routers and storage devices from vendors that include Asus, Zizel, Lenovo, Netgear, and other top names. Of the 13 models tested, researchers were able to get root privileges on 12. You can see all the details in the article. And last, from TechNadu, the Nempty ransomware has gotten an upgrade. It now has the ability to kill processes and services, meaning it can now encrypt all files, even those running at the time of infection. This may boost its profile as a ransomware-as-a-service offering. That's all for me today. Have a great rest of your day, and until tomorrow, be safe out there.